Hey, hey, hello, welcome to my channel, Tipple2 channel. This is your girl TM, and I'm back with another Opika card reading for all of you. So, today, topic of Opika card reading is Scorpio full moon. It's coming 27th um, April, and I definitely want to talk about um, the super full moon and uh, that uh, what's happening in your life what are you manifesting and what are you going to uh, definitely manifest in reality in 3d and physical and what is going to happen what's happening for you basically after this uh, super uh, full moon and um, what are you going to create in your life and where this full moon is going to direct you because this is very intense because first thing it's it's full moon and then it's in Scorpio. Oh my God. I feel a lot of people are already feeling these emotions vibes, this ups and down roller coaster in your emotions and feelings. So this is the biggest sign that we are in Scorpio full moon. So um, I am already feeling it. So I definitely feel a lot of you feeling it. Collectively, I feel that a lot of people are already feeling this vibe. We are going through an intense purging, healing, recovery, um, leaving the past behind and just moving forward because we want positivity. We want uh, true love we want abundance we want success we want real truth we want the real deal okay yeah so this is um awakening this is this is definitely going to be a i feel like the biggest um um the one of very important um full moon in this year because this is like it's, it's in scorpio i definitely feel it's going to be um create a lot of clarity for you because there is Scorpio is a sign of like a lot of secrecy secrecy and a lot of things that we just try to not show up just try to cover try to you know like fix it and you know like no, under the rug and something no no it's not going to be it's just finally things are coming out okay it's just it's very intense so yeah so keep an open mind this is a general reading take what resonates with you and leave the rest let it fly if something is not for you it's okay it's a general reading I, as I always say uh you can book a personal reading with me if you are interested in a personal reading to contact with me you can definitely reach out to me two authentic ways that is given in my description box my instagram link and my email address this is the only two ways and authentic ways that you can reach out to me if you really want to book a reading with me the this channel triple two terror because there is a lot of uh, fake people using this fake ids whatsapp numbers email address you know they're, they're definitely going to scam you by na my name no I'm not going to be responsible for that period so if you're new on my channel i'm going to definitely warn you so be careful if you really want to reach out there's a two authentic ways and that is given in the description box um i also already pre-shuffled the cards if you have any problem to see this uh, pre shuffles cards because i see the complaint in the comment box um then definitely don't watch this reading maybe this is not for you because i do all type of readings i do live i do pre-shuffle i do every type of readings so if you have any problem if you have any complaint please don't watch this maybe this is not a message is not meant for you uh so this is your choice this is all up to you but i'm definitely going to do what i want to do okay so there is a three groups in front of you with this beautiful stone on it so choose intuitively whatever the pile or group is calling you option number one with this deep dark i would say chocolate brown color here it's look like a black but it's definitely deep chocolate brown it's a chocolate color by the way okay deep dark very deep brown and then we have this orange this mixture of orange and yellow and show, showing it but it's it's more yellow and red type of situation this stone and we have this i feel like this is lemon lemon green color this is very beautiful lemon green color okay so it's look like yellow and green mixture of this lemon green okay so even though it's it's a color i don't know <laughs> what i was seeing us okay so let's start the reading I will you I will see you in your reading so let's start it and see what's you are uh, what's happening for you in this super full moon and after that what are you going to manifest and what are you where the direction is and what are you going to expect what blessings or manifestations are coming true for you in reality so let's see it hey group number one the people who choose this chocolate deep brown color I would say chocolate color okay so maybe chocolate is your favorite color or something you need to eat a lot of chocolate um there's something related with the chocolate here i don't know so maybe that's why you choose it so or maybe yeah some of you i'm getting like you are going to feel a lot of sweets like really you're going to eat a lot of sweets or there could be some type of good news coming in your way i'm seeing this chocolate um because in some countries it's just definitely a sign of good news or blessing um but this could be talking about some type of celebration or ceremony that you're going to attend it's like very uh, i'm definitely getting some type of ceremony or celebrated and some type of sweet sweet moment sweet uh time coming for you so let's see what are you manifesting in this um 
Scorpio full moon. Okay, so we have a, a new start is coming. New moon. Oh my God. Okay, new beginning in your life. I'm definitely seeing that it's, it was not easy for you because you're still in the process. I just focus on this all black moon. So this is like you're still in the process of releasing something. But you know, you know there is something big. There is something new. There is something fresh waiting for you. Because I feel like you're definitely after this uh, super full moon. I feel like after this full moon, you're definitely going to manifest new beginning in your life. The next is the clouds, number six. So yeah, there is definitely uh, a clarity, a truth. Uh, coming out there could be some type of again still some type of um, clarity that you're maybe waiting for you could be air sign by the way uh, number six may be important and after six days or within six weeks or six months there is some good news coming in your way or you're starting something fresh you're just done i'm also seeing something happening in june um june july or could be in august that's very important months for you maybe let's see we have a spiritual uh strength number nine six nine important you could be 69 wow so we get the master angel number. You could be seeing a lot of 69 number here. So it's here. So there's definitely something that you're creating. Um, you're definitely awakening. I'm seeing spiritually growing up. Um, I feel like you already feeling it that uh, if you're seeing this number, there is a mean here that for you, especially if you choose this pile, that you're protected by the God and you are on the right path. You're definitely on the right path. Moving on. We have our prosperity begin, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be earth sign or you could be a fire sign too, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you, you could be from Thailand. I'm getting like Thailand or something. Look at this, this Buddha here, like some type of um, what they call. I'm sorry, I don't know what is this called. But this could be, I'm definitely getting some type of vibes from Thailand and also um, Japan. Okay, uh, maybe from you are from these countries or um, I'm also getting Indonesia. You know, like some type of, you know, like... Um, south asia side okay i'm seeing here yeah it's it's really that type of situation i'm seeing here are places okay are you maybe going there or you could be dealing with someone from that place um yeah definitely i'm seeing here there could be some type of i'm seeing um religious event that you're attending that is really important for you yeah you're going to attend that ceremony or a religious event or some type of uh, some type of cultural thing or cultural event coming in your way. I'm also that is definitely going to make you give you a lot of clarity. You're like you're going to feel a lot of relief and um, peaceful. I feel like so you need to attend that. Okay. Now next is uh, prosperity again. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. I'm also seeing a lot of you. You're definitely manifesting new people in your life, starting a new journey. But this is also talking about starting a family together with someone. Maybe, um, you know, changing the location for your house or something, building something. I'm, I'm definitely talking about new, new. This is all about new here, fresh energy. But this could be also talking about, because I'm seeing a lot of butterflies, so this could be a sign for you. You could be also seeing a lot of um, green color around you. I'm seeing here green aura, or maybe this is... Uh, you could have a green aura or maybe you're working on your heart chakra because I'm seeing a lot of green here. So yeah, you're trying to open your heart again. You're healing your heart and you're ready for this. For some of you, this could be um, deep uh, family wounds that you're trying to heal and recover uh, that was affecting your relationship. And finally, you're ready for a very fresh and solid and rooted re relationship. Um, like you really want something solid. Re like really, you're, you're looking for a family. Moving on, affirmation. So yeah, there's a lot of affirmation that you need to practice every day because you are. I feel like you are lovable and you are loved. Uh, to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. I feel like you need to do this every day because you're in the process of it still. Uh, pregnancy. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is a birth. Uh, birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. I told you there is a new blessings coming in your family. It's like definitely maybe there is a good news that you are becoming two to three people or you're going to be maybe meeting a someone that you're going to create a family together with this person. Again, the butterfly here. So you are, I'm seeing that you're, you're becoming a goddess. You're becoming an empress. You're definitely in your empress energy and power. And this is what you are creating. This is what you're manifesting. This is really beautiful energy, guys. Okay, I'm really happy for you guys. We have a mercy. So yeah, a lot of you, you're definitely taking care of yourself, taking care of others. You're spiritually growing up. I feel like you learn your lessons. You're all, you, you learn all your past lessons. You're just ready for something fresh, something real, something rooted in reality and something, uh, you know, um, solid, I'm saying. 
then we have manifestation yeah i feel like this moon is definitely going to create a lot of abundance for you you're going to manifest a lot of things a lot of abundance spiritual awakening there's also a lot of clarity here because you're you're definitely going through i feel like you're in this process right now clouds there are some things still that you're not clear about it and you really want clarity you really want to know if you're on the right path you, where are you going you maybe don't know even where are you going you don't know the direction but one thing you know is that you're looking for something solid and serious gratitude yeah i'm also seeing this flower here yeah I, and you can see this bird here so good news coming yeah definitely look at this it's a good news maybe you're um going to uh, get pregnant or someone maybe in your family like your siblings your friends are um something is definitely they're going to maybe you know pregnant or something this is a good news it's definitely addition in the family i'm hearing yeah from the spirit and it's really beautiful like you're or maybe this is you i'm definitely seeing pregnancy from your side if you're you are looking for this but there could be some type of child shower or you know like they say that you know baby shower or some type of child ceremony that you're going to attend after this and it is really going to be a good time gratitude time uh for for all the family that you're going to all be together again something like that if there is some confusion going on with, between your family or if you had a family with someone already and there are some confusion i feel like these confusions are definitely clearing away and you guys are coming together again like something solid uh, is happening something serious something starting again yeah within the next few months i feel like you're definitely going to manifest a lot of things uh you are already manifesting i feel like abundance here within the next few months you're definitely going to get whatever you want right now maybe it's not the right time okay maybe things are really not working for you and angels are already telling you if you have something in your mind you know to maybe going back to the same cycle going back to the same person it's a no you know universe is definitely telling you that release the past maybe you're asking something because i feel like universe is telling definitely guiding you some you know they're definitely guiding you like this way this way not this way so there is some direction that you need to change or maybe see the situation differently where, where, wherever you are we have love yeah this is definitely um uh, you guys are definitely going to manifest true love a self-love abundance in your life you're manifesting something i'm saying here this is your all chakra is opening really but heart chakra is definitely i'm saying heart chakra for some of you this is your um you already gone through your saturn return so you already matured up that level but for some of you it could be your jupiter return here or maybe your venus return uh, in your chart astrological chart so there is definitely abundance and love i'm coming and pregnancy it's a good news in a, in a lot of areas we also have ace of pentacles so a lot of you this could be a new job that you manifested and it's really you're going to be gratitude like finally you have a desirable job you were manifesting for a long time we have a maturity what i told you trust me i did not see the cards so maturity definitely i feel like you learn your lessons you're definitely leveled up now you leveled up you're definitely could be your 30s 40s 50s 60s like you're not even though in your mid 20s or something but there are some maturity level you definitely passed some tough cycle or maybe going through still right now but congratulation you i that's why you choose this chocolate color um I feel like there's a sweet time now you are definitely going to get the reward now this is a time to eat your sweet uh reward of your patience reward of your waiting and it's here finally we have a luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius so you could be sagittarius and dealing with it i'm definitely seeing new moon um the next new moon whenever this is coming it's definitely going to be good for especially new moon in sagittarius it's really good uh, really good for you um there is a good luck i feel like luck is on your side i told you sagittarius ruled by jupiter so there's definitely abundance there's you could be meeting your husband by the way or maybe you're patching up with your husband because there's a pregnancy here and definitely starting new fresh energy for others of you this is uh, if you're single definitely there is someone coming that you have a potential future with okay i'm also saying that maybe um, you guys are going to get pregnant before marriage if you believe in this type of situation then definitely for others of you this is um, you already got pregnant and this is the father of your child is coming but i'm definitely seeing pregnancy here we have expect powerful change yeah look at this it's it's new moon in eclipse new moon eclipse so there's definitely uh, we are in upcoming may eclipse is coming that is going to be very very powerful i feel like your life is totally changed i'm definitely going to see that all about your clearing the past releasing the past um you are maturing up your level up and you know what are you manifesting finances and career abundance in finances and career success growth i'm also seeing luck is on your side 
So pay attention to the red flags and we also have a soulmate. What I told you, you're definitely manifesting your soulmate and you are going to meet your soulmate. For others of you, this soulmate is you're going to meet this person through your finances, your career, because there is a new job that you maybe are going to get it. And for others of you, this could be someone um, coming back. Like you have a definitely some differences between you and this person and you're coming into union because you are definitely manifesting this person with the love. Maybe they are leveled up now. They are matured up and now you're coming together with this soulmate energy. But yes, you're manifesting your soulmate. Congratulations. So this is your reading. Like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number two. The people who choose this beautiful... Um, red and orange type of a stone this is very beautiful let's see what are you manifesting and what this full moon in scorpio is going to um help you to manifest and what are you releasing and what are you manifesting and what are you creating in reality let's see we have you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer so a lot of you you could be dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in your chart especially cancer moon uh, i'm also getting uh, this person could be have a cancer very strong in their chart but this is water okay so emotions uh, will be very high <laughs> so if you could be cancer or maybe you're dealing with the scorpio so i'm definitely seeing a couple of cancer in scorpio for some of you or maybe moon in cancer or scorpio you you guys are a couple of, are like that so um there's a lot of water here you and your loved ones are safe this is something that you're definitely finally going to realize that you want your safe place but because cancer is ruled by home family so a lot of you this is definitely your focus will be all about your security your safety your home your family uh, and also this is talking about a safe relationship secure relationships maybe you're looking for your home now you're looking for your own um home place where the person that you can live with you can um but for some of you this could be your home okay like you may be wanting to manifest a home you wanted to buy a home okay house for you uh this could be someone um a lot of you you guys are definitely trying to heal your home issues if you have some broken home you're coming out of a broken home or family you're definitely going to heal that because you're going to feel finally on this this is going to be very intense for you so these emotions will definitely intensely um rise up and you're definitely going to manifest i feel like you're going to heal and recover i'm seeing moving on we have number 11 whip yeah so you're definitely going to clear a lot of karma releasing the past we have one one eleven master number angel number so this may be an angel number for you go and check it out but this is cleansing this is cleansing maybe you know cleansing your house cleansing your home and that will be good for you i feel like you need to release the old things and try to change maybe um definitely i'm also saying that they're saying that maybe you need to change some type of furniture setting or home setting something that will be good and benefit for you i'm also seeing cleansing and healing in your home in your especially in your room or something wherever you are uh, even though if you're living in a hostel or something you need to clear your house you need to clear your room uh, clean the energy maybe you need to do some sage or maybe this is sage with the or maybe um candles or something you definitely do need to do something clearing the energy clearing the aura or maybe just cleansing the past energy this is very uh, major here this is something very big for you moving on we have partnerships and alliances three of cups pisces cancer scorpio and we have material harvest number nine so maybe you could you could be 39 years old three and nine important number our life path number you could be life path number 11 by the way because we have the angel number here very master number here for me or maybe after 11 days or three or nine days or weeks you're going to be you're going to get whatever you want wow i'm definitely seeing material harvest look at this nine of pentacles so a lot of you who choose this pile you're single and you're definitely manifesting your material life you're manifesting your definitely abundance success this could be partnership in business and your work so this is definitely going to help you a lot for others of you this could be if you're a single you're going to be with someone like um being in a relationship with someone you know but you're starting as a friends first i would definitely going to tell you or you're starting as a colleague first okay like something you're going to interact with someone but it's not going to just fall in love no 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 it's not just you know love at first sight and you're just going to fall in love no it is you're going to develop step by step maybe you're going to work together and then start friendship and then step by step are you already maybe processing through this uh, situation okay there could be a business partnership but i'm also seeing it's a maybe you may also making new friends here i'm seeing with this friendship here and partnership but this is definitely talking about business partnership and romantic partnerships moving on 
we have a flower power so i'm definitely seeing a baby here so a lot of you this could be a children matter or children involved i'm also seeing egg so it's definitely new creativity could be pregnancy for some of you and for others of you this is um you're manifesting abundance okay uh, maybe something that you're doing with the flowers, trying to attract with law of attraction with the flowers or something, like uh, attracting romantic love in your life with the flowers or something with the eggs do. I don't know if you're doing some type of uh, law of attraction with the eggs to get pregnant, you know, get pregnant, something like that. If this has happened, because I'm seeing here, eggs here, something with the eggs here you're doing maybe. So there's a flower is very important here. Um, but I'm also seeing this is a child here. So you could be trying to heal your inner child or something. Family issues again. Or maybe there's a matter of the child here. You're really worried about your child. Ask for what you want. Yeah, look at this. Universe is definitely telling you that you need to ask for from the God. Let the universe uh, and other people know what you need. Okay, so maybe if there is, a again, children here. So there could be you have a two babies, girl or guy. Okay, or maybe... You're already a mama of one or two child or maybe you're definitely manifesting uh, babies or something. But I'm definitely seeing this could be talking about like as a child nature, you know. Um, think about a child. When they want something, they just say it without even hesitation or without even expectations. Like even though they don't know, other person is going to say yes or no. So maybe this is a, a message for you. I don't know in which situation, in your love, in romance or maybe in your family. I don't know. There is something that you need to do this like a child. Maybe this is you, you, you never ask the help for other people. So I'm seeing a lot of butterflies there. So it's definitely transformation here. This is what you need to heal and change. Maybe as a child, you were not doing that because your parents was not there and they were not available to listen to your needs and something. So maybe this is what you need to do. Or maybe this is what you need to do with your own children if you have children. So this is how you can heal your own child, inner child or you know mother and child trauma if you have it. Something like that very soon so a lot of you there is something that you're manifesting coming very soon to you this could be romantic partner codependency yeah there is definitely you have codependency issues by the way uh, if this is going to trigger you i'm sorry but i'm definitely going to say it what it is this is definitely triggering you in a lot of um romantic relationships that's the reason that you're um in codependent relationships are you already in codependent with someone even though you're single mother or single or single just single but you're in a situation with someone that you are just friends of benefits or just friends and you're in a codependent relationship you're expecting a lot of things from this person so maybe that's why you need to clear the things or maybe you need to speak up to that person that what are we okay something like that speak out i'm definitely seeing that they are saying that you need to stand up for yourself romantic feelings yeah it's mutual and it's worth exploring or maybe if this is not your situation your person has this issue they could be coming out of this you know they have some childhood trauma they could have a uh, throat chakra problem like they can't speak up they can't ask for help something like that but they have a romantic feelings this is mutual by the way even though it's a new love you're manifesting this will be a romantic new love between you and this person feelings will be mutual so don't worry it's not going to be one-sided it's already mutual maybe and it is going to be partnership or maybe union if it's not then this is that definitely brand new person coming in your way let's see we have a confidence yeah this is what i'm talking about Maybe your animal spirit is, um, you maybe have an um, eagle, something like you need to be confident, you need to be focused, what do you want, and you have to, you know, like eagle focus the prey and then he just jump in and just grab it. So maybe that's what you need to focus on and also bring this confidence into you. You can get whatever you want if you need to believe on this, okay? But this is also someone maybe, if you if this is not you, someone is could, could be watching you and keeping an eye on you. Maybe air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But we have a water and earth energy very strongly, especially Cancer. But I'm getting Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius especially here too. Uh, I'm also getting butterflies here. So you could have a, you could be seeing a lot of butterflies. Look at the sparrows and again, the, the birds. Happiness. Yeah, I feel like good news is coming in your way. Because the way you can see the birds are coming taking the good news or maybe this is you moving towards your happiness you're finally understanding bringing this confidence in you and going after whatever you want yeah here you go and then we have the humor so a lot of um you could be a cat lover i'm definitely seeing a lot of animals here and birds so you could be animal lover you could be you both could be animal lover or something um 
you're a very human uh, being, like a very lovely human being. We all are, but you're really connected with the nature, with the animals most. Okay, I'm definitely seeing here. Uh, you also believe in partnerships and always the put together. Maybe you have a Venus in Cancer or maybe Venus in uh, Aquarius, something like that. Like you're, you're just, it's like all love. You're just giving, giving, that type of person. Maybe that's what you need to work on now, okay? Clear this energy. It should be equal give and take. Um, I'm also seeing that humor is talking about a lot of fun, enjoyment, happiness. You're definitely enjoying a lot of things. Some of you, this is inner child. You're healing. You're just enjoying your everything that the, and you should do the, the those things that you never did in the in your childhood. Okay, so maybe that's how you're going to heal your inner child. You're definitely going to enjoy a lot of things. Some of you, you may be um, adopting the pet. I'm hearing, or maybe yes, you're doing something. You're bringing a pet at your home. Let's see. We have get more information. There could be something that still is. Um, not fully you know um in front of you so there are some information that you need to get about some situation shape or love or romance but this could be also a new job or some career that you're starting or maybe doing partnership with someone so get more information if this is the right thing for you to do that or not we also have the wait yeah some of you this is you need to wait for the right person or wait for this person that you're waiting for maybe they're trying to heal as you are healing too or maybe you need to wait for the right person um, to come into your life who will be equally evo involved with you as you are. But some of you, this could be a partnership or reunion that you're waiting for. But there are some family issues coming in the way between you and this person. Okay? So I feel like the more you will heal yourself, the more you will enjoy, the more you will try to focus on yourself and clear your energy, the more this person will come into union with you. Because I'm seeing 11, it could be your divine counterpart. One, one. Okay? Definitely your divine counterpart, your soulmate. Let's see, we have a connection. Yes, this is a romantic connection coming in your way. That's what you're going to manifest. You could be going to date someone. You're going to on you are going on a date with someone. Yeah, this is very romantic here. But you have to wait for this, I feel. You have to wait. And this could be someone that you're already dating and waiting for this person to come. So you have to wait until the time is right. Because I'm seeing the timing is not right. But the person is right, maybe. But there could be someone new coming in your way. Because if you're single, you're definitely manifesting a connection that is romantic. That is uh, your true love. We have a chivalry. Yeah, there could be someone who's coming. Look at this. You're, I'm definitely seeing like, looks like a knight and armoring armor. Your knight and shining armor. This is definitely, I'm seeing here, like your prince is coming on the horse. Something like that when I see this per this person, this guy. Again, the bird here. So this is a news, okay? I'm seeing a lot of birds here. So you're definitely receiving a lot of messages. Are you, this person is going to talk to you. For some of you, you could be telepathically talking to each other. You're receiving a lot of messages from the universe, from the God. Everything, everywhere you see, you definitely see a sign or symbol or synchronicity that reminds you of this person. The person who loves you or you love this person. It's mutual. Or maybe this is someone who is coming to you and the universe is showing you a sign. Um, this, there could be a music involved here between you and this person. You're definitely going to meet this person. I'm definitely seeing this could be talking about like you're, you're going to meet this person on some type of beachy area. Like you're going to meet on some type of uh, yeah beach. I'm definitely seeing vacations or holidays. You're going to meet this person on trip. Something like that. I'm also seeing letter here. It's a love letter. This is definitely someone who's going to send you a message. They're going to tell you that they want to meet you. They want to be with you. They, they have romantic feelings if someone is going to confess. Because this is happiness. This is confidence. Maybe this person is lacking a confidence. Or maybe you are lacking a confidence. You need to tell this person how you feel. So this is a shivery man. This is someone that you're going to date. Again, the flowers. And we have the flower again. So there's a lot of synchronicity here in your, in your reading. But you have to wait for this person. This person is going to shivery like man of the man. Like, you know, the masculine will be the masculine, I'm saying. They will definitely... Masculine could be anyone, no gender... Free. This is a gender-free reading. But I'm seeing the masculine will be masculine. Like, you know, the, the typical... Tradi I feel this person will be very traditional. Very typical, very traditional. And um, taking care of you and taking you and giving you the gifts and giving you the flowers. Uh, this is very romantic, by the way. Yeah. Let's see. We have nothing will come out of the situation. She'll avoid, of course, moon. I definitely feel something is happening right now that you're going into circle and circle. So maybe you need to accept. You need to bring this confident and talk to this person. Or maybe you need to help this person. If you already feel like this person is struggling with the throat chakra, they're struggling with something, you can help them. 
or maybe uh, any situation that you're in right now is not going to help out until you're not going to release something until you're not going to get out of this codependent energy we have worked through your fears new moon and scorpio we have a scorpio and cancer couple here i'm telling you this is something big and huge here this is all about emotions feelings and romance but this could be talking about partnership and work too but there this need confidence this need um something that you need to act on it work through your fear there are definitely affairs here maybe this person is fearing out like there you get this all this dark energy with the scorpio and the void moon oh my god all this dark energy maybe this person in a dark place going through a dark night of a soul um you can send them uh you can help them you can send them a message maybe they're waiting for you for your support for your help if you know them who i'm talking about but if it's not then definitely you could be in a dark night of a soul right now and you're like there's nobody for you you're never going to meet someone no it's not there is someone for you and i feel like you have to wait and maybe some of you i'm getting like when this new person will arrive you're going to definitely compare this person with your previous person because you're still and so you're still in the process of healing and cleansing with the past person you're still definitely that's what i'm talking about you need to heal yourself first because you're going to um get wrong uh, you know impression of this person because you're going to feel like this person that's why it's a message you get more information like you need to get more information about this person i'm hearing that don't don't judge the book by the cover that type of situation i'm seeing here yeah for some of you this is like you're going to like wow why this person is coming why this person want to be with you or something because you're still in the, in the process of healing recovery and doing something else but there is someone maybe watching you and want to be with you or interested in you they're waiting for the right time maybe you already know them or not for others of you this is a union here with someone that you love but you have to wait work through these fears allow this love to happen because there is a codependency issues here that you both need to heal it's like you're mirroring each other that's what you're manifesting okay i will see you in the next video bye hello group number 3 the people who choose this lemon green beautiful stone let's figure it out together what are you manifesting on this super full moon in scorpio and uh, what are you going to create in your life after this okay let's see let's figure it out what are you manifesting believe in the impossible blue moon oh my god so this is something going to be a big for you you're going to achieve or attract a lot of abundance that you're going to believe like oh my god is this really happening for me that's what i got when i see this it's like you're going to be shocked and surprised um but don't worry because you're going through a lot for some of you this you could be um scorpio you could be leo you could be libra taurus uh you could be aquarius capricorn i'm getting virgo so you struggle a lot and pisces too yes you guys struggle a lot and finally this is something good coming in your way like you're going you're you're even though this thing and this person or whatever you're manifesting it's going to be in front of you and you're like really i got this is me this is happening for me i got this really there's something is surprise here with this believe in the impossible you need to believe on your uh dreams your goals okay people will say that you're crazy no you're not crazy you can do that you can manifest that you're a great manifester okay believe on your impossible things you can do it trust me we have a 34 fishes yeah i talk about it you could be 34 years old our um 3 plus 4 7 it's very spiritual number it's very angelic number so this is definitely seven is a heaven so you can do anything honey you're connected with the divine you're connected with the source you're connected with your crown chakra your throat chakra you already know it you know your you know that you can do you can create you can manifest shifts in your life and you're doing that but i'm seeing fishes it's a good news it's a rebirth it's also talking about um your manifestations are coming true finally you're getting rewards and good news this is also talking about going with the flow with your life and that is going to bring a lot of um success and happiness i'm also seeing this could be uh children involved here believe in the impossible could be pregnancy you're manifesting some of you but this is a good news this is um celebration this is partnership this is friendship i'm seeing i'm seeing you're manifesting here let's see solar plexus chakra number 3 oh god we have a truth number 20 judgment card here so yeah this is sag and scorpio energy here and we have a solar plexus chakra okay so this is you this is all about your confidence this is all about your confidence and that's what I'm talking about you need to believe in your own confidence believe in impossible you can do whatever you want to do nobody just don't listen to anybody for f the world that's what i always say f the world 
They're going to stop you. They're going to be like, what are you talking about? No. You have to believe in your own self with the solar plexus chakra. This is creating. You may be going to create a lot of abundance in your life. You could, I'm hearing that you are going to be the first millionaire in your family or something. Or maybe you're going to be the first in your family that you're going to invent or create something that your family or anybody never did that. I'm getting a very Uranus and um, Jupiter vibes from you guys and Pluto. Okay, you maybe have a Pluto in Aquarius or maybe your Pluto and Uranus is, uh, you know, conjunct in your chart. But there could be a moon too. Like you're very fantasizing. People still that it's a fantasy. It's a just dream. No, it's not a dream. For you, it's your life. So there are something that you need to believe on. But this this definitely asking about your creativity, your exploring your creativity and um, definitely making them in reality, making your dreams into reality. And also it's talking about your confident. This is what you need to do, honey. Just do it. You have to con be confident in your own self. Otherwise, people will definitely tell you, what are you doing? No, it's a truth. Something is coming in front of you. There is a truth coming in front of you. And this could be a truth that you are standing with. You're going deep within yourself and finally understanding what do you want. You want the things for your own way or you just want the things to please the world and the other people. You're definitely going to do something different from the society. It's like not out of the society, normal the society, something like that. You're going to do something different. You're a very rebellious person. And you are the person that who's a go-getter, even though you're male or masculine or male or female or male or whatever your gender is, does not matter. But I'm definitely seeing a feminine energy here. Like it's like creative energy. It's like uh, nobody can stop me. But there could be some truth coming in front of you. The person that you're dealing with, maybe they have some solar plexus chakra problem. Like they could be having a difficult time to express or to create. Um, but they are coming. Maybe it's a good news coming. Believe in the impossible. Don't feel like it's, it's, it's always finished. You have been waiting for this truth for a long time. And finally, this person is going to speak up their truth. 20, it's definitely completing. A cycle, maybe. Something is also going to happen in 2023, I'm hearing. You could be 20 years old, 23, 34, 43, 32. Um, I'm also getting life path number 3, 4, and 2. Let's see. Travel. Yeah. You're going to travel. You're, you're manifesting travel for your work, for your... Uh, abundance but this could be also for your healing recovery creativity or someone is traveling to see you we have a healing healed and healer yeah a lot of you you're becoming a healer look at this all yellow yellow and purple here so you guys are definitely exploring creating your um you know following your own um you're connecting with the source higher sources and universe is guiding you look at this it's a source you're connected with the source you could be a healer empath light worker a teacher a guru are becoming this okay um you're definitely in the process of healing you could be traveling somewhere for your healing taking a break from the whole world and situation to heal yourself and recover we have a sacred space yeah a lot of you this is again it's like a what this is dragonfly it's here yeah transformation you are in the process of transition or transformation whatever you want to say it's like you're just just almost there to fly it's a piece with this flower, it's a peace. You're moving toward a peace. You're moving toward your sacred space, your healing, your recovery. For some of you, this is all about your healing. You're taking your time within yourself. You're really exploring your creative side. You may be starting a business. You may be starting all over the place. You may be starting um, a lot of things together. Are you are going to be busy a lot with your work? I'm de definitely seeing a lot of creativity, a lot of maybe deals or a lot of travel. You're going to be busy for this. But this is also a healing for some of you. You're going to heal a lot. Or maybe you're attending some type of ceremonies or uh, some type of webinars or seminars that is making you are going to make more uh, busy. I'm also getting, get feeling like you're going to get some type of professional degree in something. Like this is a healing course or spiritual course or meditation course i don't know there's some, definitely some type of um you can do that okay you can do that dragonfly for some of you this is the, your time to fly I'm, I'm i'm hearing time to fly nobody can stop you sky is a limit for you i'm hearing we have a cycles yeah a lot of you this could be um a repetitive cycle that you're in that you're going to close the chapter with with this judgment card it's it's all up to you rebirth or birth it's that um we have a programmed 
you are on a journey to your own greatness your soul is longing to find the way only you can choose your path look at this this is your journey i'm, I'm hearing that you are a wolf okay loner wolf you're a lone wolf okay so you could be very spiritual some of you you are on journey or mon or none or what are, what are you doing definitely something that you're releasing the past behind and you're definitely on the journey on your own journey it could be a soul journey a life journey but this is all about you guys it's like um a lone a lone wolf here i'm saying you guys are does not matter you're male or female this is about your journey you are in a cycles and you're really looking for your sacred space you're where you can have peace you can have some moment of your own self or something for some of you this is the partner that you're looking for your soulmate you're looking for your true soulmate, your true partner, your twin flame. Where is this person? When I'm going to find this person? Or maybe you're dealing with this person, but that person is definitely... It's it's like you're in a cycle with this person and you're saying that when this union is going to happen. Because you're waiting for the truth. Let's see, we have reconsider. So some of you, are you, the decision that you're going to make, you have to think about it. What are you doing is the right thing. You're on the right path. Think twice, I'm, I'm hearing from the spirit, think twice, whatever the decision that you're going to make. Because whatever you are waiting and whatever is in your mind, universe is saying yes. The answer is yes. If you have a question for someone that is your twin flame or soulmate, answer is yes. Because I'm seeing the bird here on her um, head. This is like spirit is guiding you. Spirit is always with you. You are definitely a special child of the spirit, okay? You guys are going to do also a lot of special things in this world. Because you guys are spiritual. You don't care if you live alone or something. Wow. Yeah, it's like a very monk and nun situation here. Like, you don't care if you're you're not going to find someone or not. Because you feel like you are your own soulmate. You're your own twin flame. You definitely want your own sacred space. You're also looking for the partner that who is not going to disturb you. Who's not going to disturb you. Like, not going to test you. Not going to... Uh, bring um, disturbance in your mind in your life like you really want a partner that you can match with mind body and spirit yeah wow you're definitely looking for your spiritual partner your soulmate your twin flame the one otherwise you're not going to settle down with anyone because this is you're focused on your creativity you're focused on your own things you believe you believe in the impossible you do the things in a different way or maybe the person who is coming into your life is just the same like you you're waiting for the maybe you're waiting for someone to speak up their truth and they're going into cycle and cycle they don't know what to do maybe they're not ready for this right now they may be on the soul journey if you, this is not about you maybe this is about them they're on their soul journey life journey they're they're trying to find their sacred space they really want to know that what do they want because they still did not figure it out or maybe this is your energy you did not figure it out reconsider think about it whatever you're going to do or what are you doing in your life and manifesting in your life where are you going the divine feminine yes and next is abundance okay your life is all about abundance happiness success look at this i feel like it's look like a lottery that you're getting abundance coming in your way it's like um with this creativity i feel like you're going to explore a lot of things told you you're going to be a first millionaire or something you're definitely going to make a lot of money uh, that is coming in your way but i'm also seeing something related with the jewelry um, something related with the flowers, something related with the crystals, some, yeah, maybe some, some type of crystals, stones that you're going to sell or business in this, in this, in, the, in this type of a business that you're starting, or maybe some spiritual business like this, uh, divinations, tools, tarot, or some uh, healing energy or some type of meditations or something that you're going to be in this, in this business. And that is going to make you a lot of abundance and success in your life. The divine feminine, this is what you're coming into your power. You, you know, you, you're definitely knowing your worth, your value. You're not settling down. You're looking for your divine masculine because you are the divine feminine. You're becoming the more divine feminine. I'm seeing that you're in your empress power and you're not settling for anyone less because you're looking for your divine counterpart, emperor, your equal. We have a surrender to the divine and then we have your dreams need a practical plan. Yes, believe in the impossible. Again, that's what I was talking about first, right? Surrender to the divine full moon. This is the full moon that you need to surrender. If something is not in your control and you're going into cycle and cycle and you feel like it's out of your control, so this is a time that you need to just surrender. You should not know it, what's going to happen and when this is going to happen. Just focus on your, focus on your divine feminine power. Create this abundance in your life that you deserve, okay? 
And I feel like you need to find, first of all, your own soul journey, your life journey, your soul purpose, your life purpose, then figure it out what the love is. Because for some of you, it's a delay right now. There could be a travel involved here between you and this person. So maybe this person is definitely avoiding the person that you're dealing with. Maybe is avoiding something. But full moon in Taurus. So something with the full moon here. And maybe the Taurus is uh, maybe their sign. Sun, moon are rising. But we also have a Sag and Scorpio. I'm seeing Pisces. Uh, I'm also seeing Libra. As I told you, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. Uh, I'm getting with this lone wolf definitely talking about. I'm seeing Aquarius and Leo, by the way, also here. Capricorn, yeah, Virgo. This is this could be any sign, but I see I'm seeing these signs here with the scales. I'm definitely seeing Libra here, Taurus and Libra. This is Empress energy, guys. Uh, are the this person is Empress energy coming towards you? Does not matter, male or female. They're abundant, okay? They need to figure it out. Basically, what do they want? Maybe. So your dreams need a practical plan. A lot of you, you have a lot of dreams, but you don't have any practical plan. So if you really want to achieve something, you need to bring this creativity. You need to find out the solution. You need to find out the way, like how you can do it, right? How? You know that you, you want to achieve something. You want abundance. You want money. You want success. But how? So think about it. Just explore and reconsider. Explore your own um, natural gifts, your spiritual gifts, and then go for it. Let's see what Romance Angels are saying. Deception. So someone is definitely being deceptive. They, can, they may be coming out of the deception and telling you the truth. They need a confident. Trust that this person will come. They need some time, I feel like. You have to wait. And we have released your ex. For some of you, they could be in the process of releasing someone so they can come to you. And for others of you, this is someone that you release um, and coming back to you. But I'm also getting this is your energy. Maybe you are in the negative energy. You need to trust that this person loves you and this person is yes for you. But you need to definitely believe in this. If you're seeing a lot of signs and symbols from the universe, like you have to give this relationship a chance. So wait, because there is a wait here and patience and healing needed here. So wait, I feel like you're definitely worrying a lot or maybe this person is worried a lot. There's someone who's lacking some confidence here. Like they, they, they definitely is not ready right now. They're going into back and forth cycles and deception. So yeah, this is your reading. This is what you're manifesting. I'm definitely seeing here. Some of you are definitely releasing someone from the past. You're done. And you're trusting there is someone for you. And you're going to think. But some of you, this could be someone is coming back in your life. Maybe that's why it's talking about reconsider. Think about it. Maybe it's a yes for you from the universe and God. So it's up to you. You have a different situation. Everyone has a different situation in their life. Just take what resonates with your own situation and apply that. After all, it's a general reading. So this is your reading. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.